Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and we have finally reached the final world. So, yeah, I think what we're going to be doing today is we are going to get the Skull Bash ability, or Head Bash ability, whatever it's called, and then we're going to go back to some of the older levels that we never finished, clean up all of those levels, get any missing gems and orbs that we needed to get, and then we're gonna come here and we're gonna start doing some stuff here if we've got time. So yeah, let's uh, talk to Alora first and then we'll start getting things done. Spyro, Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. Well, that's not bloody good, is it? We could thank Hunter for being such a lazy git. Right. To break these, I think you need head bash, which we should learn now from money bags. Well, Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you. And like all the best things, it uh, doesn't come cheap. No, it bloody doesn't. 1,000 gems. What a cock. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump and then press the action button. I'm so glad I paid a thousand gems to know that. Okay. There you go. Now there's a, there's a trophy for this area. I think for breaking all of the rocks maybe. Getting all the hidden gems I think. Better kill a few penguins. Yeah, this is the chest we need to go back to Shady Oasis to do. See? There's a bunch of gems. I'll show you where all of the hidden gems are in this area and all the other stuff once we've uh, gone back to the other levels that we've already done and cleaned up all of the orbs and gems that we've needed to get. I think first we'll go back to Glimmer. Because I'm just going to I'm just gonna use the fast travelling option, you know, where you go on your guidebook and then you randomly choose a level to travel to. I'm just going to do that to try and get to all of the levels quickly. It shouldn't take too long, you know. There isn't a ton of stuff we need to do. I think this might be one as well. Oh, it's an orb. Oh, nice. I didn't know there was an orb in that rock. <laughs> I knew there was hidden stuff here, but damn. Oh, this might be the trophy. Doing this last rock. Yeah, yard work. There we go. Right, so I'm going to go on to my guidebook now. And we are going to travel back to Glimmer, which is all the way back where we first started this adventure. So we're going to go to Glimmer first, and we're going to grab the stuff there. One orb and a couple of gems. Then we're going to go back to Summer Forest, and we're going to get the gems that are up on the uh, roof, where there's also a hidden orb. We're going to get those. And then we're going to travel back to Sunny Beach, and we're going to do the turtle mission. Then we're going to go back to Fractured Hills, and we're going to do the mission with um, Hunter to uh, destroy a couple of earth bind, earth shifters or whatever they're called and we're going to go shady oasis and we're going to do an orb and stuff there so quite a few things we need to get done in this video but a lot of them are quite quick so we should be able to get hopefully we should be able to get all of it done in this video and then in the next video we can start making progress on uh, world number three i mean this is probably going to be the last spyro video i need to record before uh, my holiday from work begins the christmas holidays because like i said i'm recording this on december 18th you're probably watching this video in January. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've been recording like an absolute fucking madman. Right. Do I need to actually defeat any of these guys? I can't remember if I actually need any of these orb powers or not. I don't think we do. We'll just ignore them. If we have to come back and get some, then we will. I think we might do, actually. Yeah, we need to kill ten. I can see up there. All right. Let's come back out here, then, because there's a couple of enemies out here we need to defeat. But free here. Lovely. I think there's also a big guy around here somewhere. Hmm. Thought there was another big guy out here. Quite first like it was ages ago we came here. And I've literally finished this entire Spyro 2 in less than a week. Well, like, I haven't finished it, but like done the majority of it in less than a week. Oh there he is. That's the one I was looking for. This was our first introduction to Moneybags, the thief, you know, when he told us we had to uh, pay gems to open up this bridge. 
And there we go, and that is 10. And now we have the ability to climb, we can come up here and we can get the mission for the uh, orb. It's pretty much the same as the mission we did last time, where we need to uh, light all the lamps. Hey, great! You've got the Superfly power-up active! Now you can light the gem lamps in this cave! I'm getting real sick and tired of my shoulder cracking like that. Yeah, I had to make sure to grab that. Right, let's have a look then. One. Two. Three. We'll get all of those gems and stuff after. Four. Come on. Five. Come on. Six. Beautiful. Ain't that beautiful? Lovely. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. For a while, I was afraid we were going to have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orb in with the baseballs. Fantastic. <laughs> At least you know it's an orb, unlike the other people. Right, I'm going to fly over the other side now, and we're going to grab up all of those gems and stuff. Lovely. I think this should be all of them. Oh, where's the others? Oh, why is it? What, what ones am I missing out here? Oh. Oh, uh, okay, have I even... Uh, have I activated this portal? Yeah, I have. Okay. Guess we'll fly up there quickly. I don't remember there being any out here. I think I might have left a few just because uh, I knew I couldn't get all the gems yet anyway. Oh, no, I just missed that by accident, I guess. <laughs> Okay, right. 100% complete. Now we're going to go to Summer Forest and we're going to get the rest of the uh, gems and also the orb in this area. This will take about 10 seconds because we just need to climb up a ladder. But now that we've got all of the powers unlocked, every time we do any of the levels in World 3, we can do everything straight away. There's not going to be any having to come back later crap, you know, so that'd be nice. I've got to be careful because I've got the, uh, the size of my... Uh, memory card allows me to record in 1080p on my video camera for two hours and 40 minutes Now when I do these videos on YouTube when I'm making these five videos uh, I record for two hours and 30 and then there's also a bit of a bit of time I spend messing around and s Like screwing up intros and that so I've got to be careful to not actually run out of time and have my uh, video camera run out of space <laughs> So I'm having to watch it quite closely because this is video number five Right, now the next one is going to be in here. If you want to see where any of the other stuff is, just watch my other videos of Spyro 2. And I've pretty much showed where every single orb is. But yeah, we're going to climb up this ladder now. And all of the gems should be up here in a ring, as well as the orb. There we go. I could have done all of these sooner, but I just didn't do it because there was no need. Might as well do it when I've got the Skull Bash ability as well. There we go. 400 of 400 gems. 100% level complete. Brilliant. Right, now we're going to go inside Sunny Beach. Now this just requires me to do a little challenge with a, uh, with a turtle. Now we could also get the trophy in this area as well now. What's going to happen is a bunch of turtles... There's going to be a penguin that's trying to put turtles in a stew. Now, you just need to whack the turtles back into the pond, you know, and don't let them go into the uh, the pot. Now, all you've got to do is not let any turtles go into the pot. And it is, it's, it's very easy. There's not much you have to worry about. So, we'll also be able to get that trophy as well now. We don't need to watch this. We've already seen it. Pretty much the blue evolutions of Licky Tongue. <laughs> What is he called? If you, if, you, uh, if you know, let me know in the comments below. What is the evolution of Licky Tongue called? I keep thinking he's called Licky Licky or something. I don't think it is though. But I think it's something like that. There's also a couple of gems we can grab now as well. Oh. So the reason why we couldn't, we have to hit him twice is because he's got a... Uh, the rubber dinghy provides him with uh, some sort of armour. Well, that's a bit weird. <laughs> right, now there's going to be a couple of gems up here. There you go. Oh, God. Might actually end up dead in a minute. Be careful. <laughs> I can 
see it. Oh no. I need to stop rushing. It's because I want to get through all of this stuff really quickly, you know, because I'm just doing stuff that, well, it isn't stuff that you've already seen because it is new stuff, you know. But uh, it's the same levels that we've already done, so I don't want to spend too much time in them. But we're going to go straight to the end of the... There we go. We're going to go straight to the end of the level. Come on, move out of the way. And we're going to come up here. Hello, young Right, let's talk to this sod up here. The rest of the gems are going to be in this little bit of water here. Oh, apparently I'm missing one magically. I don't know where the hell that is. Oh, we'll go find it after. No turtle friends will make a very good soup. If I can catch them, you can try to save them if you like. But I'm feeling awfully hungry. <laughs> you look awfully hungry, you fat git. So I've got to do this twice. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think charging it might be better. Oh no, get away, what are you doing? There we go. So you saved a few titles. There are more where those came from. Here. Take this orb and go away. So you go away. Lovely. Alright, he's gonna do it again now. That's why like he says, oh there's more where they came from, just go away. <laughs> it's probably so he can actually make his stew without me ruining it. These are probably the most annoying ones, the ones that come out of that pipe. You know, because you can't just instantly charge them. It's the same thing, you know, but there's gonna be more turtles this time. Just be careful, because I don't know if you can actually charge them straight into the uh, pot yourself. So you've got to be careful of it. What are you doing? I hope that doesn't count as a foul. He was just sort of standing there looking at it, wasn't he? He didn't seem to jump in, though. Maybe I was, like, really close to messing it up. <laughs> That was close. I don't even know where he came from. Fucking charge him, Spyro. Oh, you don't. It's got to be the last. Oh, come on. How many? on the beach. Here, take this. I was gonna use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. <laughs> Where's my trophy? So did I fail it? Did they, I, I didn't see any of them jump in. I, or maybe they, I don't know, maybe you just gotta keep them completely away from the pot. I think I might have messed up on that. I think what I did is I charged him and then he didn't go in the pond and he walked back and I didn't notice. I think that's what happened. I feel like the gem might be near the start of the level. Whoops. Oh no, it's over there. What's it doing there? I think a lot of unnecessary hits, isn't it? Oh. I guess I forgot to grab that when I climbed up the ladder. Where the flipping hell are all these things at? I, I hate it how he doesn't go down in the water. He does this quite a lot. And now I've lost sparks and now I can't actually find them at all. I think they might be in here. I don't think I actually went up here. Yeah, I didn't even go up there. Yeah, I didn't even bother doing this whole bit here. <laughs> Whoops. I haven't got sparks now, so I've got to be careful. We could get a bunch of sparks in a minute, I guess. There's actually a lot up here. Why didn't I do any of this? I suppose I probably just didn't bother because I knew I had to come back here later. 
There we go. Now this should be 100%. Yep, there we go. Now we can go to uh, the Alton Plains. I'm missing one gem apparently. So we're going to go here quickly and see where that gem is. I need to come here anyway so I can kill a couple of, uh, a couple of sheep and heal myself up. And then we will go into the other levels and get the other few orbs. I don't think the other ones will take too long. I don't think we're going to have enough time to do any of the other levels though. We might be able to quickly blast through one of the flying levels. But if I don't have enough time, I think I'll just show you where the two hidden, the other two hidden uh, orbs are in the third world. And then I'll have to end it for today. So sorry, this, is, this will just be a cleaning up video. I might even call it cleaning up. <laughs> right, let's go and get some health quickly. There we go. Okay, it's up here. On your way, Spyro. On your way. Need to get this video done and I need to have myself a shower, mate, because I am feeling tired. <laughs> and a shower is the only bloody thing that seems to wake you up. Tea is also good, but not always. Not always the best, you know. I suppose coffee is probably better than tea for waking you up. But yeah, I don't drink filthy coffee. I am a 100% tea drinker. I think I've left the orb up in that secret area, judging by where Sparks is aiming his face. There are, I missed one up here. I actually remember this video. I don't remember leaving any. Ha! How did I leave that behind? That makes no sense. I walked over there. I guess Sparks just decided not to pick it up. Right. Fractured Hills. Oh, dear. Right, so um, there's a trophy for this level that requires you to defeat every single earth shaper. But I'm not going to do that because uh, it takes a while to do. And it's also very annoying pushing most of them into the lava. So we're just going to uh, concentrate on getting both of the orbs. You're going to get one orb by helping Hunter escape from the rock, which you pretty much have to. The alchemist is going to take the most stupidest route in history to get over to Hunter. But you have to keep on headbutting all of the Earth Shapers before they hit the uh, Alchemist. And then he will release Hunter. We're going to get one orb from doing that. And then we're going to get the next orb from uh, taking revenge on the Earth Shapers pretty much. Did I get all the gems? Yes, I did. Okay. So that's already done, luckily. I'll go fuck yourself. Should have come down here, actually. Hopefully we don't end up needing the... Uh, the speedy uh, thing, you know, the uh, the running thing. Hopefully, we, hope we don't need that because then we're going to have to go and defeat a bunch of enemies. I can see one of those creepy bushes chasing me. <laughs> Not going to go near that. Got to be careful in this level though, because they, like I said, there isn't too much health stuff around here. You don't really find too many pigs. Right. Ah! God's sake! Right. Oh. Oh no, we don't. Okay, oh, I was starting to worry then. I don't think we do need to do that. Though. I think we can just, we could just jump past it. Right. So first things first is we are going to speak to the alchemist. Oh look at that, a blue one. I've been experimenting with a new potion. I'd like to try it out, but the earth shapers have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Yes. Great. Just keep those earth shapers away from me, and I'll take this potion to Hunter. They are very annoying. He takes the most stupidest route in history. It's so dumb, the route he takes. And you need to predict where he's going to go before he goes there, because you need to already be there, headbutting the Earth Shapers. I think it comes round here now for literally no reason at all. go around a stupid way now, is isn't it? Yeah, why do you do that? <laughs> oh, that was close. There we go. Is that water? Man, do my feet feel better? What do you... 
Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to, uh, I normally press cross to make all the words come up. As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? Yes. All right. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then pressing the action button. Okay. You can't, if any of them stand up though, then you foul. So you gotta be very quick. And he is just as annoying as the alchemist. He likes to pick the most stupidest uh, order of earth shapers. He didn't stand up. Fuck off. I don't know why you just can't shoot him with another arrow. What's the big bloody deal? You've got limited arrows, have you? Because judging by your bag, you've only got three. And there's more than three Earth Shapers, but you managed to shoot them all. It's because Spyro didn't do the jump. Up with bloody hunter. Doesn't really wait for you, he just rushes. We make a great team. Here, I was gonna give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. <laughs> That's a, you're a bit salty, are you? Uh, a bit salty, are you, hunter? I'm a bit salty with you. Lovely. Right, now we're gonna go to Shady Oasis. This shouldn't take very long, this should be very quick. I think the problem that we might have with this level, actually no, I don't know if, I don't know if we have to, but we might need to escort that hippo again. I'm not 100% sure, but we, we might need to escort that hippo again to unlock all the doors for me. But thinking about it, I might not have to. Because I think all of the stuff we need to do is going to be on that top bit. We, we're going to have to break open two doors at least. But after that we can just ignore the hippo. I think. I could be wrong though. Because I'm not sure if the vortex is going to be on or not. Guess we'll find out. I mean I don't really need to go up to the vortex actually. So we might be able to just uh, ignore it. Yeah, I've already done this. I'm not even sure how the hell you managed to get back down here again. What was that all about? <laughs> oh dear. I mean, at least the uh, at least the hippo does defeat a few of the enemies for me. Ouch! Be careful though, because the hippo sometimes gets stuck up on this step, and it glitches out a little bit. It's happened to be twice so far. Yeah, see, there's no vortex up there anymore. But we've already done that all, and I think the girl is over there, and the chest is there, so. Yeah, we only need to be able to get to here. There we go. Now we should get the rest of the gems now. Oh. Oh, yeah. We need to have that power up so we're able to go into the water. Because we need to rescue our friends that are trapped in stone. So I am going to have to uh, at least kill a bunch of the enemies. God damn it. What was it? 18 we have to kill? Flipping hell. Alright, so we're definitely not going to have enough time to do any other levels today, so I do apologise. But, you know, at least we're going to actually get everything done, you know, ready for uh, the true ending of the game. Lovely. Oh, come on, Hippo, you can start walking over there, you know, mate. I think the biggest thing that's been annoying me about doing these five videos is obviously it's working around all of the noise that goes on. That's very annoying, but it's just the fact that it takes so long for my computer to put the files from my camera to the computer. It takes literally 45 minutes just to put two hour, two and a half hours of footage onto the computer, you know. And in that time, I could have rendered an entire Spyro video, you know, because they don't take very long to render. And there's also not much editing that's required with these videos, you know. Not like... Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, where I've had to do loads of editing. I mean, loads, you know, because there's lots of like uh, 
audio bits I need to adjust so you can hear people, lots of cutscenes to cut things out of, you know, lots of really loud gunfire that needs to be reduced, you know, so it's a bit of a pain in the butt with those. Oh crap. No, 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 no. I've lost me uh, sparks. So, uh, yes, yeah, uh, things are not going very well. Also, where the hell is the cow? Not the cow, the hippo. Where, where, where is it? Did I not give it a berry? Okay, what? Oh, all right then. I've got to stand and hold your hand, have I? <laughs> God. <laughs> I ain't seen Mr. Blobby in ages. Mr. Blobby is great. Pretty creepy character, but great. Come on. Come on. It's a bit annoying now because if I do make any mistakes, I've got no sparks. Ouch! That's rude. Is... Thanks for help. You're welcome. Oh, thanks for giving me that talisman I've already got. Bit confusing, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know I have. Right, is there any peacocks around here? There's one over there. Oh, well, never mind. Right, let's get this done. My eight brothers have been trapped in rock and will sink if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping and then pressing the action button. Follow my lead. What do you mean, follow your lead? And remember, jump, and then press the action button to head bash. That's all you got to do, is wait for him to come out of there. you got to do it quickly, obviously. Careful. Are they flying away? Where did they get wings? <laughs> I didn't even notice they had wings. I need to open my eyes. There we go. Thanks for freeing us. All I have to give you is this thingy I found. At least it's not a rock. That's true. That is very true. I could at least I could make money from this thing. I mean, I, I would spend at least a thousand pounds to have one of these in my room. You know, if it looked as good as that, you know, I would spend at least a grand if I had that kind of disposable income. Right. I think we've done everything now. No, ain't that beautiful? Ain't that a beautiful sight? Lovely. Now we can go back to the winter tundra. Now, uh, I've only got about two minutes left, so I think what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to show you where you get the other two hidden uh, orbs in this area. I think we already got one in this video, didn't we, from the boulder. That was in this video, weren't it? I think it was. Well, we're going to go and uh, get the other two. One of them is actually hidden very sneakily. The other one is pretty easy to see. Oh, you'll see, you'll see both of them very easily, but one of them is like, how the hell do I get to that? <laughs> right. So first things first. Let's grab up these gems while I'm here. Actually, I better go outside and kill a couple of penguins. Because I've got no sparks at the moment, and I don't want to risk ending up dying, you know, because I've only got about a minute left to get these. Let's quickly grab a couple of penguins. Oh god damn it, I hate door frames. That's all they really ruin my day. They're the worst enemy in this game, door frames. I think there's one over here as well. There he is. There we go, a nice healed up sparks. So first thing you're gonna do is go on this vortex. Instead of going that way, go this way. You see you've got an orb over here. There's also a couple of gems up here as well. There you go, that's one of them. That's the very easy one to find. Now the other one is actually going to be on the wall over this side. So you're going to follow the wall around. I actually did this just because I thought, oh, that looks a bit suspicious, you know, and I risk jumping down. But if you come over here and look, you've got this random hole here. You drop down here and you follow this, uh, this little lake. There we go. And you come down here. There you go, there's the other orb, and it's going to be near the flying level, I think. There you go. Oh, god damn it. 
Go fuck yourself, money bags. I better talk to him quickly and then we will end it for today. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. 200. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. You've said that like three times now. <laughs> there you go. Canyon Speedway. Lovely. I don't even remember. Oh, I remember this one. The uh, trying to find Hunter was a pain in the butt in this one. But yeah, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf and Wolfette. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Sorry that we didn't do any of the newer levels. I just wanted to go back and get all of the orbs and get all of that stuff done. Now I've got the head batch ability. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the... Whoa, nearly... Oh, God. <laughs> nearly broke everything then. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh,